YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiara. Today I have a wash and go tutorial for you guys. So if you want to see how I got my hair to look like this, then please keep on watching. Um, today the products that I am using, I am using this Curls Unleashed Coconut and Avocado Curl Smoothie. I'm going to be using this Cream of Nature Argan Oil for Natural Hair Twist and Curl Pudding. I'm going to be using this as well. And then lastly, I picked up some new Eco Styler Gel. Um, this is called the Eco Plex. And it has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed in it. So this is what I'm going to be using. Um, I'm also going to be using water because my hair is dry. Um, I'm using this detangling brush. I am using this three row comb. I found this comb at Sally's. Um, for a couple of dollars I don't really remember how much it was but I think it was maybe like three dollars I want to say I'm just gonna um, split my hair into four sections it doesn't have to be neat uh, if I would have combed my hair after I conditioned it this probably would be a lot easier but since I didn't we are going to figure it out so um, actually I'm gonna do it pretty much in three sections because I only have two hair ties right now so I'm going to leave this half in a section and then I'm going to break this section down into two. I'm just going to put this up and out of the way. Now I'm just going to break it up into two sections and I'm just going to wet it and wet it as much as you can because the wetter your hair is when you do this wash and go, I feel like the better it'll come out. So now I'm just gonna detangle my hair, starting from the bottom and working my way up to the top. And as you can see, I'm already done combing it out. And so now I'm just gonna take some of this curl smoothie and I feel like I'll take about a decent amount rub it in my hands and take that same section and put it up there. Just rub it in. Next I'm gonna go on to my second product that I had over here. I don't use as much as that product. Um, mostly because I am using three products. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the Eco Styler. Now I do use a decent amount of Eco Styler because I want my curls to stay for, I typically have my wash and goes and for about three or four days before I put it up in a puff. And since it's Saturday, I at least want it to get me through Tuesday of next week. So I am just putting that up there. And then this is where the three row comb and the right tail comb comes into play. So what I like to do is, I like to break them up into smaller sections so that I can comb it. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of that Eco Gel and put it on my hair because it helps um, keep the hair strands together and make the curls look a little bit better. Now my curls in the back of my head typically aren't as defined as the curls on the top and so um, a lot of the times the back is a little bit more frizzy than I would like for it to be but that's why I'm trying to work on moisturizing it but as you can see right here like I'm just combing it out and the curls are just bouncing back so I just added a little bit more of that eco styler gel and I'm gonna go back to combing it so I'm just gonna comb through it one more time and make sure I try to keep the hair as separate as possible when I comb through it. And 
also another way to get your curls more defined um, you can take the curls itself if you feel like it's just not doing it and just wrap it around your finger a couple times and pull it down and it helps it helps like define that curl a little bit better or keep that hair more together every time I grab a new piece of hair I also put a little bit more gel up there so I'm just gonna take my comb comb it through Then sometimes when you have a lot of product on your hair, it, it seems like your hair won't revert and curl, but it will. I'm just combing it through right now. I'm just going to break that up so my the teeth and my comb can grab the hair, more finer pieces of hair, and I'm just going to work it down. Grab that other piece. So these are the curls right now, and then once I diffuse them, that'll help it dry as well. Okay, so I have the back done. I just want to show you guys what it looks like so far. I'm um, still wet, but this is typically what my wash and goes look like once I get done. So yeah, the product is still there. It's not dry yet. But I just want to show you guys how to find my curls are, even though my hair isn't as moisturized as it should be. Okay, so now that I'm on this last section of hair, I'm almost done. So I'm just going to finish styling or doing this part and then I'll show you guys what I do. Um, I have all of my curls in, all of my sections done, moisturized, all that good stuff, and then we'll move on to the next part. Now, I what I like to do is I like to just twist this side just to like keep it out of my face and this side tends to shrink up a lot more than this side does. So I just like to twist it and it just, I don't know, gives it a little bit of flair I guess you can say or whatever.
Okay, so this is my blow dryer. Nothing fancy. This is a Revlon blow dryer. It came in a kit and it came with this piece as well for diffusing. So I'm just going to put my blow dryer on warm on the back and it also has a cool button as well on the front. I hardly use this thing so I barely know. But I'm just going to turn it on high and the heat setting is on warm and I'm just going to diffuse my hair. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this wash and go tutorial. I will be having more natural hair tutorials on my channel, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave the comments down below so I can answer any of the questions that you guys have. Thank you for watching.